Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the PXN V9 racing wheel. This package includes three pedals, a gear stick or shifter and of course the racing wheel itself. Costing about $180, this racing wheel is quite considerably cheaper than some of the alternatives on the market, but is it any good? First of all let's take a look at the pedals. Although the base is quite obviously plastic, it actually has a really nice solid build with no unwanted flexibility. It's also got this fold out footrest underneath which is a really nice touch. The pedals themselves massively exceeded my expectations with a beautiful brushed metal finish and a really smooth compression on each of the three. They've also got these padded stops at the back to reduce any wear and tear and of course reducing the noise levels as well. The pedals have one non-detachable cable which as you'll see shortly plugs into the back of the steering wheel along with the shifter. I feel like this cable was slightly too short though as I'd like to have it set up neatly whereas it ended up being a little bit of a stretch but this is not a big problem by any means. Moving on to the shifter or gear stick, again it has a pretty cheap looking build but actually feels much better than it looks. This H pattern shifter features 6 gears and of course reverse which you need to push in and pull back to the right to activate. There was a little unwanted movement in the shifter but again this is nothing too major, it does also feature a nice rubberized base to give it a more authentic feel. The shifter also features two buttons, one for the emergency brake and one to swap between high and low gear sets, low being between gears 1 and 6 and high being being between gears 7 and 12. Moving on to the wheel itself and I really do like how it looks. Although predominantly still plastic, it features nice rubberized grips on each side of the wheel as well as a bunch of cool features, so let's jump in and take a look. This racing wheel works with 6 platforms which include PC, Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS3 and PS4. It features all of the buttons and macros you need for various different driving games and simulators including two pedal shifters which can be used for gears, or indicating depending on how you would like to play. The wheel also has the ability to swap between 270 degree and 900 degree steering on the fly. For fast paced racers such as Forza Horizon 5, Dirt, Need for Speed and so on, the 270 degree steering is more often used, whereas for games such as Euro Truck Simulator you would opt for the 900 degree steering. And although smaller than your average real life steering wheel by a few inches, it was still very comfortable to use in various games. In terms of attaching the wheel to your desk, you've got two options. There are of course the standard suction cups but these don't really do the best job so it's much better to opt for the included desk clamps to ensure your racing experience is as immersive as possible. Taking a look at the back of the wheel from left to right you have a USB port for your controller if you do wish to have it plugged in to navigate menus and whatnot, then a standard 3.5mm headphone jack followed by the pedal and shifter inputs. The included manual makes life much easier when figuring out how to connect to your chosen system, as well as explaining how to adjust the sensitivity of the wheel, remap buttons and some other really useful information as well. As for the setup process itself, getting the wheel, shifter and pedals in place took less than a minute, so you can get up and running very very quickly. I'm using one of those extremely weak and flimsy IKEA desktops, so I was pretty sceptical about how this would work, but thankfully I had no issues whatsoever. The racing wheel stayed very still, even under a firm grip so you shouldn't really run into any issues with that. The wheel then connects to the chosen device via USB so in my case here I'm connecting to a PC which was very very easy. Next up I attached the shifter on the left side of the wheel and clamped it into place. Bearing in mind the clamps have about 2.5 inches of clearance so it's worth checking the height of your desk beforehand. Lastly I placed down the pedals under the desk and extended the footrest flap which also helps the pedals stay stationary when in use. With everything set up and connected it was time to sit down and take a look at how the wheel works with the PC. The good news is that straight out of the box, without adjusting any settings whatsoever, the wheel and pedals worked perfectly fine, however by default the shifter was not functional but I'll explain this more shortly. Also a quick disclaimer, I'm absolutely awful at using this wheel so please don't let the driving skill represent the wheel's quality. I'm driving badly because I'm useless, the wheel itself was actually great fun to use. But before we get into the more complicated setup processes, for a beginner if you wanted a quick and easy way to play racing games without a shifter at a great price then I can already tell you that this is worth the money. But with a little extra work you can truly get the most out of this gear. To start the full setup process you're going to want to head to the PXN website and download the V9 drivers which I will link down in the description. Once installed you will want to download the PXN V9 app from the Apple or Android's app store. You'll also want to open your devices and printers page via your control panel on your PC. As the wheel has Bluetooth built 
built in, as long as it's powered on it should be automatically detected by your mobile device, in which case simply pair the devices together. Once done you'll see that changing from X input to D input, also known as direct input, affects the wheel status on the PC. X input is the newer tech, however it is much more limited than D input is. The mobile app allows you to test and specifically configure each of these inputs to work best with whichever game you plan to play. And to be honest, as a newbie to the sim racing world, this part was a little bit complicated, but with the help of some tutorials the process was made much clearer. Which input you need to use really does depend on the specific game you're going to play. Thankfully PXN have provided a decent list of presets underneath the configuration tab of the mobile app. From here you can select your game platform which automatically has the best input setting as well as other factors as well, all of which can be customised to your own preference. Of course not every racing game under the sun is listed here, but you do have the option to add your own configuration if you want to swap between games quite often. As well as this, PXN also offer many in-depth guides on their website, for example here with Euro Truck Simulator 2, where it tells you exactly how to set up your wheel in game step by step. With everything finally set up, connected and configured, it was time to hit the road or the curb in my case. Whilst I play through some clips from various games, I'll give you my review of the experience I've had with the PXN V9 wheel after a few weeks of use. So as I mentioned, I'm a beginner in the sim racing world and was looking for a fairly easy but still immersive gaming experience, and I can quite honestly say that this wheel ticks those boxes without a question. For the price of $180, I consider this great value for a beginner's wheel with some fantastic features and of course the pedals and shifter included as well. In addition to this, the wheel feels fairly lifelike and has a nice resistance to it, as well as a good size and feel to it as well which makes for a great experience for extended periods of time. However this wheel doesn't have any force feedback which is unfortunate but somewhat expected at this price point. In place it does feature multi-zone rumble to simulate any vibrations which it does an okay job at. My biggest issue with the wheel was the setup process, although PXN have clearly taken steps to make this as easy as possible, by bringing in a mobile app, input mapping and confusion using input names, it can feel quite daunting as a newcomer. But I don't want to be too harsh as I understand it's very tricky as every single racing game will require some different settings or configurations, but I really did struggle with the setup process on this. However, if you're comfortable configuring the wheel with various games, then you're going to have a good time with the PXN V9. This wheel, pedal and shifter set definitely feels like it's aimed at beginners or those who want to participate in sim racing with a tight budget, so for that reason and for the lack of force feedback, I would not be recommending this for experienced simmers, but definitely for those looking to get started with the hobby. The pedals overall felt really nice and responsive, maybe for the exception of the brake pedal that was a little bit too lightweight but it didn't really hinder the gaming experience at all. As with the other parts the shifter is well made but possibly a little on the small side, and also the reverse gear is a push in and pull down mechanism which can be awkward to quickly get yourself in reverse after crashing into a tree. Not that I've ever crashed into a tree or anything. But on a serious note, I've played several hours on Forza Horizon 5, Dirt 5 and Need for Speed Heat, and I've had a ton of fun. I was honestly pretty terrible when I started, but after getting used to how it handled, I was really enjoying blasting around circuits and trying to break my track speed records. As I said, I am not a pro simmer by any means, so keep in mind that this review is from someone from a very neutral consumer's point of view. I will as always leave all of the relevant links to the product down in the description and if you have any specific questions feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more technology content. Also I'd absolutely love for you to come and join the Scorpio Tech Discord server with over 2500 tech loving members to talk about all things gaming, technology, PCs and more. The link for that is also down in the description and I really hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video video. Goodbye.